here, you're there. What are we doing today? It doesn't even matter. But I got potatoes because we're gonna make a potato volcano. And I got them all rinsed off in cold water. Most people know that. You're gonna take a fork and you're going to basically create some vents, I call them. And you're gonna, throughout the potato, you're gonna put some holes in it. So I'm using a fork, you can use whatever you want. So now what I'm gonna do is, I just got a little bit of butter and I got a little salt, a little pepper in here. And I'm going to just lightly coat the potato skin. Why I'm doing, and you don't have to, but why I do that is so I can uh, have just a little bit of, um, it'll create a little bit of crispier uh, outside peel. You can also do it with olive oil if you choose to, or nothing. I'm gonna lay them on the pan. We're gonna go, now what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go 400 bake, and I'm going to put them in there for 20 minutes, okay? Every oven can, uh, you gotta use your discretion on your oven. So we'll check on them in 20 minutes. All right, so now what we're gonna do is soft and cream cheese. I'm gonna use some of that. I'm gonna use some onion. Now you can use as much onion as you choose to. And that's this green onion. And then I'm gonna use, that's two cups. All right, now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna just gonna go ahead and mix this all in, like so. All right, so I believe the first tw 20 minutes of them has beeped, as you hear. Okay, so now I'll let these cool so you can touch them, okay? Now what I'm going to do is, you're going to slice off one end, flip it around, slice off another, try to make the bottom end so you can sit it upright like so, okay? So now what we're gonna do is, you can technically use a, um, there's a lemon cutter for this, but I don't have one available, so I find I'm improvising. This will work because the uh, objective here is to bore out the inside. Okay, you don't want to go all the way to the end. Depending on how deep you choose to want it, we're going to go about three quarters of the way. You're just going to go ahead, get in there, and just bore out that center, like you see, like that. And you keep boring that center out, okay, until you have it bored out like that. But now I'm going to actually take the potatoes that I've bored out because I don't want to waste any, but you don't have to do this. And I'm going to add them in. Remember, we uh, mixed this all up before. We're going to add the potatoes that we bored out into there. Then we're going to take bacon. And this is thin sliced bacon. That's what we choose to use. And you're going to wrap the outer of the potato. And I'm going to use toothpicks to start it. And this, go ahead and Put the toothpick in like that, and then just go ahead and in a circular uh, fashion, you're gonna wrap the bacon. Instead of wasting toothpicks, I'm going to just start another piece of bacon like so, overlap it slightly as you can see, like that, and I'm gonna, and then you're gonna follow that all the way around the bacon until it is completely, the peel is completely wrapped. All right, so once you have achieved that, it'll look like something like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our mix and you can see the potatoes in there and I got those mixed in as well. And we're going to scoop and put that right inside the volcano. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to stuff that and make sure it gets all the way down in there like so. Okay. Like this. And just kind of pack it down in there as much as you can get in there and you're gonna follow suit. Right, so now that I got them all filled, this should look something like this. And then I reduced my temperature on my oven to 375. Obviously you gotta use that at your discretion per oven you're using. Um, and to keep it on bake, we're gonna go ahead and put these back in the oven for 30 minutes, approximately 30 minutes, and allow the potato and the bacon to cook. So it's been uh, 30 minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull it out. Ho oh, ho, look at these. Okay. Oh. Look at that so far, but we're not done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some more cheese and we're just gonna go ahead and put it raw, some on, on the tops like so. Okay. 
some. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, put it back in the oven for an additional 15 minutes or so. So let's do that. Mm-hmm. Woo! Look at that! All right, I think it's done. Oh yeah. All right, let's go ahead. Woo! Pull that out right there. Look at the volcano. It's erupted. That's what I wanted. Perfect. And the bacon, you can leave it in the oven a little bit longer if you choose to. Just keep in mind that the longer you leave it in there, the more the cheese is gonna, you know, brown. So, but it is crispy enough for me. Look at that right there. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put a little bit of, right there, a little parsley on the top, like this. And then I'm, what I'm going to do for the one we're gonna try right now, so I'm gonna add a little sour cream, like so. Maybe I'll add, a, I like parsley, so I'm gonna add a little more, just like that. Slot it over to the plate, I'm gonna pull the toothpicks out. Make sure you do that. Look at that, oh, this gonna be good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it, okay? Oh yeah, look at this, look at this. Look at the inside. Ooh, look at that. That's all the all, all of our mix. Right in the center like that. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Oh. Now that's a baked potato right here. Mm hmm It is. Look at this. Oh, it smells. It smells amazing. Woo! Let's try it out. Let me make sure I get everything in there. Mmm. Ho, 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 ho. Woo! Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Now that's worth trying. Until the next time, I'll be here. I hope you'll be there.